Yo, yo, welcome back everybody. This video, we're gonna be refactoring our little guessing game to use a vector instead of an array. So just a little bit more practice with vectors and they're honestly a better data structure, so I'm gonna recommend them for this game and that's what we're gonna use. Now, before we get started, check out our sponsor, Embarcadero Rad Studio. Rad Studio is the IDE of choice for C++ development. Quickly build native, mobile, and desktop applications from a single C++ codebase and deploy to Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. With Rad Studio, user interface design has been made easy with hundreds of pre-built components for cross-platform development. You can easily integrate with popular source control management systems, databases, APIs, and you can make your life easier with numerous third-party extensions. Let Rad Studio do the heavy lifting when it comes to C++ development. Give it a go with a free trial by following the link in the description. All right, so what do we got going on here? Well, we have this play game and we have this guesses array where we're basically storing a bunch of guesses as this game goes. So every time we try to guess this random number, it enters that value into this guesses array. Refactoring this to a vector should be very easy, especially when it comes to this function we created to print an array. It should work exactly the same. The only thing we gotta do is change this data type for this parameter. That's because we can still use the indexing syntax for vectors. Everything else should work exactly the same. Additionally, we'll get rid of this count variable and replace it with the size of the vector. So it should be very simple. We talked about how to print vectors in the previous video, so go make sure you check that video out. So where is this array being used? Well, if you look in our code, first thing is we're storing this in a guess variable, and then we're storing that guess inside of this guesses array. So here's what we need to do. We need to replace this array with a vector of type integer like so, and we can get rid of the size here. Now scroll down a little bit and where we're assigning it to this value here, we don't have to keep track of this guess count anymore because the guesses variable will be able to determine the size itself using the size method. So actually where that variable is defined, we can just get rid of that, so that's nice. Now we get rid of this here, and all we have to do is say guesses.pushback. Well, oh, okay, let me try this again. Push back. And now we just pass guess inside of there as an argument, and there you go. Now at the end, you can see we have print array. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this guess count here and just pass in the vector. It would be more appropriately named print vector. So we're going to change the name of this function. Now we scroll up to that function definition change it to print vector, there you go. Change this to an integer vector, there we go. And get rid of this count variable. And we also have to give it a name, so we'll just call it vector, cool. Now instead of using count here, what we're going to do is use vector.size. Now let's compile, because I probably forgot something, make sure I got all my syntax right. <laughs> All right, looks like I got a bunch of errors because I'm a noob. <laughs> First thing I need to do is I need to include vector. That's important. <laughs> All right, let's compile. And instead of using array of i, we need to use vector of i. Well, there we go. All right, I only had two errors. I guess that's not too bad. Now let's play the game, make sure it works. Play game and we have to guess some numbers. The answer is 79, so we'll go with, I don't know, 58, 99, 77, 79, and we got it. As you can see, it prints all of the values just like before. So this is a beautiful example of refactoring. The actual output and the functionality of the game is exactly the same, but the code is more elegant, it's more manageable, and it's just freaking awesome. All right, so that's all I got in this video, guys. Be sure to check out the next one where we're going to be talking about arrays, but not just normal arrays. We're going to be talking about arrays from the standard template library. So check it out and be sure to subscribe.